Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up What is up, everybody? What is going on? I'm extremely excited to bring this video to you. Not because of the fact that you will think it's cool, but the fact that I'm just excited to be in here right now. I really am. You know what? I hit 10,000 subscribers probably about two weeks ago now. At the moment, we're sitting at, what are we sitting at? Probably about 10,500. And that means that my channel is growing and that is absolutely fantastic. Before I go on, I wanna say thank you once again to anyone, everyone who's ever given me a like, a dislike, a comment, a share, a subscribe, anything. It's all helped to get me to this point now and now I'm really gonna try and step up my game. You know, one thing, one thing I've always wanted, I've always thought it'd be pretty much impossible until recently is to get that 100,000 YouTube subscriber plaque. Oh my God. I mean, I, can't, I just, it's a dream. It really would be, it's a fucking dream. And it's a dream that is getting closer and closer by the day. So, to put me in the best space, you know, mentally, emotionally, and physically, to create, to be a creator, to be a content creator, I know, a lot of you guys out there maybe watching, you might make videos yourself, you might be writing a blog, you might be trying to set up a business. You need a space in your house or at work or wherever, in your car, where you can really get those creative juices going. You know, you can really use that brain power, grab a coffee, sit down and do your work. And that is what I've tried to create right here in my own house. Now, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, one of my subscribers mentioned to me that I had no idea about that once you get to 10,000, you do have the ability to go and use the YouTube spaces around the world. Now there's only nine. There's nine YouTube spaces in nine different cities. I think there's New York, Paris, Berlin, Moscow, Tokyo, and a few others. Anyways, there is none in Australia right now. There is none. The subscriber that told me about it thought there was, but there's not. I think there is a Google headquarters, but there's no YouTube space. So anyways, I thought, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait any longer. I need a creative space. I need my own YouTube space. And that's exactly what I've created. So without further ado, I wanna show you around. It's only one bedroom, but I have added a few you know, pieces of equipment uh, that I need in my life, in my YouTube life, to keep this shit going. So let's show you. Okay, so the bedroom is probably about five meters by five meters. So it's a decent size. It's a decent size. And now we've got nothing in it except for, except for my stuff that I need and I wanted so badly. You know, right now, standing right here in the middle of all this, just not even knowing what I'm gonna create, just knowing that it's gonna happen. I'm excited. It makes me, it makes me really excited I've got everything I need. And we're gonna hit that 100,000. That's all I can say. So, let's have a look. First of all, we've got the desk. Now this is where most of the editing goes on. I use my laptop. I've used that for the last two years to edit all of my videos. Now I have an external uh, monitor as well. So any websites that I need to monitor and I have them up all the time, I'm gonna put the windows onto that and then have, you know, the stuff that I need to do right now on the laptop. So we're gonna have two screens going. I've got the Mac, that's actually my girlfriend's. Um, she's still got, she's still got the, how would she feel if I pulled that plastic off right now? What do you guys reckon? Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, so we've got three screens in total. I've got a printer, which I just got. And the first thing I printed, guys, was these. So now I've got no choice but to hustle on my brand every single day ready for launch later this year. And I just, I'm, I'm over the moon, man. I'm over the moon with how it looks. I mean, that was the first logo. We're looking at putting this down the sleeve of jumpers, which is going to be absolutely sick. And team major key is going to be another 
uh, logo across the chest of a t-shirt. So we've got the printer, we've got the screens. This is another one of my new purchases, which is a halo light or a Lumi light or a selfie light. I don't even know what it's called, but it's, uh, it's extremely bright. It was only a hundred bucks, so it's not too bad. And um, that is going to up my YouTube game. Basically, I don't have to worry about light anymore. I've got a light source whenever I want it, wherever I want it, and that's exactly what I needed. Behind me, we have the big double wardrobe, which goes the length of the room, and it is absolutely perfect right now because on this side, we've got everything major key physiques. We've got all the sample products. I've got the drone there. We've got the printer stuff. All of these sample products. We've got you know, all sorts of stuff that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, and it's coming, basically. So, not only that, but on this side, we've got all of the sample apparel that I've had made. So, you know, I'll give you a quick look. We've got singlets. We've got t-shirts. We've got long sleeve t-shirts. We've got gray uh, singlet. We've got a gray active wear top. We've got a gray crew neck jumper. We've got a black and gray long sleeve top, which looks like a raglan top, which is pretty sick. We've got black singlets, black t-shirts, black long sleeve and black crew neck. And the one that I just cannot wait to make, guys, I've got to show you this. I've got to show you this before we go. We've got, so basically, oh, I'm going to ruin this now. Anyways, okay. I feel like this design is actually probably going to be my first, you know, proper product that I'm bringing to market. And it is going to be a black hoodie. And we're going to have major key physiques in white going down the side of each of the sleeves. And I, I feel as though it's going to be absolutely sick. But anyways, let's, let's continue. Don't want to keep you guys for too long. Shut that, shut that. Now, if we continue to the left, we head over to the makeshift photo studio. Some of you guys may have seen some product shots recently on the Major Key Physique's Instagram page, and that was using these two lights. Now, what I will say is that they cost me about a hundred bucks from Amazon. They're not as bright as what you'd like. So to get that really crisp white light, you really need to like hold them right up close to the, um, the product. And that's not ideal all the time. So anyways, the last thing, last but not least, definitely not least, is my whiteboards. Now I went through a bit of shit with whiteboards. I tried to source one from a place here in Alice Springs. And to be honest guys, whether it's, whether it's getting t-shirts done, whether it's buying supplies that I need, uh, you know, just just getting things done efficiently and the exact way that I want. You know, I'm the kind of guy, if I want something, I'll pay for it because I want it now. Alice Springs is the kind of place that even if you do have money, you still have to wait. And it's been very frustrating. But finally, I've got my whiteboards now. I was in a bit of a position because I couldn't, yeah, you know, I don't want to put screws in the wall. So the whiteboard I really wanted was a massive one, but it was on, sta it was on a stand. And that costs a shitload of money. So what I've done is I've gone to Kmart. I've bought four $12 whiteboards. I think they are 80. I think they're about 80 centimeters across. So that means we've got three across, which is 2,400, which is the size that I originally wanted. So 2,400 across. I'm gonna put two more on the bottom here. So we'll have, I think it's eight by six. Eight by six. So eventually we'll have 2400 by 1200 on the wall. And as you can see, I've already used it. It's only been up there for literally 12 hours and I've already used it. And that's exactly what I knew would happen. Thank fuck. Thank God I can get things out of my head, not only write them on paper, but also write them onto a board so I can stand back, guys. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna write shit up there. I'm gonna stand back like this and just look and ponder, and plan, and think, because I can think now. Man, I'm excited, as you guys can probably tell. Anyways, guys, this is my very own personal YouTube creative space. Thanks for watching.
I'll see you in the next one.